Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're walking you guys through the best performance optimization settings in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's jump into the settings here. We're gonna hit Windows key together with E to bring up our file explorer. And we're gonna right click on this PC. And from here, we're gonna click properties. It's gonna bring us directly to our about tab inside of our system settings. You can also access it directly from your settings. From here, let's click advanced system settings. Now this window is a little bit small, so our apologies for that. I don't have a way to increase the size here. You can see this tab for performance. Let's click settings here. Now, instead of letting Windows choose what's best for my computer, we're gonna go with adjust for best performance. So this is going to eliminate some of these animations that may consume computer resources, and we should expect slightly better performance from doing this. So once we've adjusted that, we'll hit apply, we'll hit okay, and we can close this for now. Next up, we're gonna access our control panel. So I'll just hit the Windows key and type control panel. Next up, we're gonna go into the hardware section. So I'll just click hardware. And here we can see power options. So let's go ahead and click power options. It's gonna automatically be set to balanced in most cases. In this case, we're gonna to want to favor performance, but may use more energy. So just be mindful of that, but this is the high performance power plan, and we should expect to see some improved performance from this. Next up, let's right click anywhere on the taskbar, and we're gonna to wanna to access our task manager. This is going to give us the ability to adjust our startup tasks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this, and on the very left here, we can click these little three lines, which will open this up, and we can go down to startup apps. What we're looking for here is too many startup apps happening simultaneously as that can disrupt the system performance. So in my case, I just have security and Azure Arc sys tray. I'm not going to disable either of these, but the recommendation here would be to disable anything that's unnecessary. And with that, let's move on to the next step. For this one, we're gonna use the run box, that's Windows key together with R, and we're gonna type percent temp and percent again, we'll press open. This is giving us access to our temporary files. And what I can do here is simply control A to select all. And we'll hit this little delete button here. I have an error related to this document because of Microsoft Office. That's fine, I'll go ahead and skip that one. But we've just related our other temp files. Another thing we can do here at the top is paste in Windows temp. So C colon backslash Windows backslash temp. We'll hit enter. And this is another folder containing temporary files. I'll select all and delete. And again, that same file is in use, which is fine. Our next tip is to go back into our task manager. And from here, we have access to our performance tab. And this is our resource monitor. So from here, we're going to be able to see the current utilization of our CPU, available memory, our SSD, and our internet as well. This can help give you a better insight into what may be consuming some of your computer's hardware. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna cover is back in the server manager, which we can always access by searching for in our search bar or Windows start menu. And the tip here is to carefully remove any unused roles and features. So if we go to manage and remove roles and features, this is gonna bring up our familiar wizard here and we can click through, select our server from the server pool. Anything that is not being used or has not been used for a very long time, it can help to remove those roles and features. Please be careful when doing this as some of these services are required for other things to work. So it's always a good idea to know what you might potentially be affecting before you proceed with the change. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any topic suggestions of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented requests get made into actual videos on our channel. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.